Hey, and welcome back to the Quick Spin series. This week, we're adding another Sunliner model, the Olantis 451. So while the floor plan may not be new, the chassis that it's on is new for 2024. It's the LDV Deliver 9 rear-wheel drive model. So come on, let's take a quick look together. Before we jump into the Olantis 0451, I usually give you a specification hit. The specifications are thin on the ground for this one as it is so new. Anyhow, their blurb says that the Olantis is a luxury apartment on wheels and it was originally exclusively designed for Mercedes-Benz chassis. It is now available on much, much more. So here's the specs I found. Again, you might wanna hit pause now to read, otherwise let's roll tape. So now we are looking at the Sunliner Olantis. This is also built off the LDV chassis. Now this model is set apart from the rest of the range. Instead of having the standard gray and black, it has this lovely gold mixing in with the gray down the full width of the motorhome. It has the large carefree awning as well. And this is the Olantis 451. This model is $181,426 as displayed drive away. This one is sold. At the rear here, you'll see your battery and electrical component, as well as your toilet cassette. You have a power outlet down here. Then on the rear, you can see your illuminated logo. And looking up, you have your bathroom window. Taking a closer look at the storage on the 451, you have two large bins, one just aft the passenger door, and one on the driver's side much further towards the rear. Not to mention your separate battery, battery storage and your LPG cabinet. So let's head inside this Olantis 451. Up the stairs into the middle of the motorhome and immediately to the rear you see a large ensuite and we're standing here in the kitchen. Now this kitchen reminds me of the 451. It does have an oven and a grill and it looks to have plenty of drawers down there and then there is a pantry just here to the right hand side. Sunliner do tend to use a lot of the similar cabinetry. It does give that some unison, but here looking at the cabinetry in the 495, you'll see there's two pull out pantries in the lower cabinetry, one beside the oven and one behind the sink. And then returning to the ensuite, you'll see there is a subtle glow from all of the lead lighting. There's lots of lighting in this bathroom lots of upper cabinetry, large shower. Let's do the spin test. We'll shut the door and there's plenty of room in this bathroom. Look at that. Right, let's head back out into the kitchen. You'll notice that this has the electrically raising and lowering bed in the middle of the motorhome. Again, it will come down over the dinette. It is an L-shaped dinette here with a lounge to the side. And as you can see, here is the bed lowered, showing you how it's situated. You have plenty of storage up here in the Luton. And here is your LDV dashboard. Turning around, you'll see it has muted leather tones. So again, a nice compact motorhome, something bigger than the Daintree and the Pinto, but very luxurious with all the leather. Sunliner do do a luxury feel. We've noted it for this with all the colors and the lighting. Look at the rounded cabinetry. And then you have all the remotes here as you walk in the door. You'll see a handy remote that controls the mood lighting. Now on the Olantis, Sunliner has added an exterior red, green and blue logo lighting, as well as the interior LEDs can be programmed to glow or flash as you desire. So there's your TV and all your standard controls for your radio and your hot water and your projector electrical system. All right. So what do you think of the Olantis? Leave some comments below and we'll see you in the next one.